Shawnee, welcome back. Today, we are going to do a duping the vibes video. Now, I've done some of these in the past where I see a palette and I'm like, do I want that palette or do I have those shades already and like my singles and things like that. So, this morning, my friend Tracy Hagra, she sent me a um, post from Makeup Crazy 2 on their Instagram. And it is a picture of a mini starlet palette from Natasha Denona. Now we know the minis are like five pan. They're, they used to be $25, but now they're about 27, I think. And a lot of times she has a midi or larger size palette as well as a mini. Now there is a large star palette. It's from like back in the day. And um, I've always been curious about it, but I haven't gotten it. So I think that this mini starlet is based on the mini, or based on the large star. Okay, and I think Makeup Crazy 2 got the photo from, let me tell you. Glam Junkies Calm. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna show you the palette. I'm gonna also put a picture up of it, but this is the palette, okay? This is the palette. And what I will say is that here it is on the swatches. Look at how ashy this looks. Look at how ashy this looks. And these shades don't even look the same, okay? But we're gonna talk about that. So, what was I saying? I don't remember I'm all up in my head so we're gonna try to do the vibes and honestly I'm gonna ask myself the question and I'll give you the answer can we dupe the vibes of this Natasha Denona mini starlet no no we can't no we cannot this palette <laughs> first of all it looks different in all the pictures also I think it's a little ashier than they show I think the picture is a bit more saturated because I'm gonna tell you why but no, we can't dupe it. I've duped other palettes, and if I'm not right on target, I'm real close. This one, child, I don't have these ashy shades. I don't have them because they're not shades that look good on my skin tone. Who will appreciate this palette, though, because I always want to say that. If you have a lighter or, like, more pale skin tone with some cooler undertones, child, this is your palette. This is for you, okay? This is for you. So if you like her formula and things like that, and you like these peachy pink colors, this is your palette. Everybody else, from tan, medium, to dark, and deep, and deep dark, it's not for us, girl. This is not, this is not our jam. This is not our ministry. It's not. But the other thing I'm going to tell you is that all five shades, you see, I'm, like my fingers are stained from, from swatching. All five shades are repeats. All of them, all five. Now, let me tell you which ones they are because I went through, child, and let me tell you. Okay, the nude mauve shade is in the Retro and Lila palette. And the Per Se shade is in the Lila palette. Rhea, Galaxy, and Vega are in the Star palette. Note to self, make sure to put pictures of those up on the screen. So all the shades are in there. Now, if you have Retro and Lila, you have two of the shades. The three that you might not have are Rhea, Galaxia, and Vega. So let me read you how those are described because... Galaxia is described as a sheer icy white with a crystal finish. Hands down, I don't have that shade. I have that shade nowhere in my collection because imagine what a sheer icy white is going to look like on this lid. When I tell you I went through every single palette that I own and you know that's a lot, I can't find them. I do have some singles that have like some kind of white to it or even like a couple Pat McGrath like special shades, but I don't have sheer icy white with a creamy or with a crystal finish. I don't have a Natasha. Okay, 
Rhea is described as a peach gold with a metallic finish. I kind of feel like I can get that one a little bit. I can get close to it. And then Vega is a soft tea rose with a creamy matte finish. I also feel like I kind of have those in like my uh, singles from Sydney Grace. So I could, y'all, when I tell you I searched and searched, I was like looking and I could not find the shades to dupe this. And I think it's because these are like lighter peachy rose kind of shades and I tend to have deeper rose type uh, deeper rose kind of shades to go with my skin tone so what I did was I tried to create versions okay now these are not going to be on target I am so sorry but if you understand <laughs> that certain things don't look good <laughs> on my skin tone then you you like get the gist of it so let me where is it okay so I did three versions, okay? Now, I did this top all shimmer version. So it's like pinks and purples. Let me, can I turn? Okay, that looks a little better, right? Then this middle version was me trying to make a deeper version of this mini starlet. And then this bottom version is just like a purple version of it. So basically I tried to do like three mattes and two uh, shimmers and then the top one is just all shimmers. So what I did was just try to get shades that more, um, more closely fit my skin tone uh, just because the ashy ones in this mini starlet are just, I just don't think they're gonna look good on me. So what I'll do is I will swatch these and tell you what shades they are. I'm not gonna take you through like the whole swatch thing. Um, and then we'll go from there and I'll try to do a look with each one, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, so here is the all shimmer version. This looks good. This looks good. This would look good on my skin tone, right? I know. Okay, so let's go over the shades. This first one here is JD Glow, AKA, and that doesn't mean also known as. The AKAs are a sorority that are part, that's part of the Divine Nine. And the Divine Nine has a long history, but is, is a collection of black sororities and fraternities. Everyone always thought I was an AKA. I mean, unfortunately I'm not, but I just give that AKA energy. Okay. So that's that one. Then the next one we have Sydney Grace Bubblegum Pink. Next we have Cleona Honeycrisp. Then we have Pretties for Your Face Lovelies. And then we have Sydney Grace Cranberry Boy. So that is how I got this all shimmer version. Just turning that light off so you can see it a little bit better. This is really pretty and I think it kind of captures that pinky vibe but with a bit more depth and a bit more purple to it so let me show you the next one this is like a more pink okay, so here is the more pink version that i came up with even this i feel like this would look better on my skin tone and maybe it'll look better on yours or not because i know there are people that uh, the one that's already created by Natasha Denona, it will fit for you. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. I'm just saying for my coloring um, and maybe some other folks, I think it's just a little too ashy. So this one here is Sydney Grace Sugar Bear. Then we have Cleona, no, I'm sorry. We have Copacetic Adorable. Then we have another Sydney Grace Lolly. Now we have Cleona, Pink Sugar, and here is the last Sydney Grace, and it is Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. Okay, so one more wipe off and one more set of um, swatches. This is the more purple version. So here we go. Sorry, I forgot to show you this one without the light on, so you can see it a bit more clearly. All right. Now here okay, we go. last version, and this is more of a purple kind of cool toned one. So here we go. This one is Sydney Grace Simplicity. Then this one is Pretties for Your Face Strange. This one here is Sydney Grace Labyrinth. Another Sydney Grace Pardoned Completely. And the last Sydney Grace over it and that's a great place to end the swatches because trying to dupe this palette 
I'm over it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's try a look with each of them. So I'll do one, one, and then maybe one. Uh, and then we'll be done, okay? <laughs> so here we go.
So here are two looks. This one is with the pink version. So this third row here, you can see that. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, so that is this one. I feel like this is a look that I would typically do. And then this look here is with this bottom row. And here is also like a look that I would typically do. I'd probably add a bit more like darkness and depth to it. Now, let's do an all shimmer look. Let's use this first row here. This will be interesting. I know some people don't like all shimmer, but I do. So here we go. look of the all shimmer row that is this row right here so I mean in conclusion can we dupe the palette no no mm, at least I can't let me know if you have some shades and stuff that you think would um but I'm not mad at the dupes that I came up with. I think they are more my speed, more my style. I do like pinks and purples. Um, it's just that I don't think the Natasha one is going to fit for my skin tone, which is fine because it will fit for some other people's skin tone. I think if she had like maybe one deeper pink, um, maybe it could work because those shimmers look really pretty in my opinion but I guess we'll see when it actually comes out and people do reviews but I won't be doing a review because I'm not gonna get it okay so let me know what you're thinking about that palette are you planning to pick it up I don't have any details on when it drops if it drops how it drops I don't have any of that information but when and if it does I'm gonna skip it 
Let me know what you're going to do. I hope that some of this was helpful. I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.